name is Aubrey Rose. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing the If I Weren't an Author tag. Um, this is by Anne Sophie and I will put her video and also Sarah Sutton's video, which is the one that I watched before I did this, in the description down below. So the first question is, what would your new creative outlet be? So I put this in parentheses because this has still been a creative outlet for me, even though it's not the main one at the moment. And so this would be music. I play piano and guitar and ukulele. I have a violin, I sing. So it'd just be very music related stuff. And probably the most creative part of that would be writing songs. I have written a few songs. I will link the playlist. It'll either be at the end of the video or it'll be in the cards. I think it's on this side, but I also think that the mm, it mirrors the video, so it might be on this side. I don't know. So yes, it would be writing songs and just music stuff in general. So question two is, would you still do YouTube? Absolutely, definitely, yes. If so, what content would you produce? The same as the videos that will be linked down below and in the cards. This is, um, I first I just do like, a, video with me singing the song and i'll do lyric videos i would also learn how to do more in-depth music videos i've wanted to do these i will do them eventually i hope especially for picnic table uh yeah i really want to do that one and waiting for you i love that song and so i probably try to do that would be really fun to do a music video i don't know maybe i should get my brothers together and be like hey let's do this Maybe one of them can film for me and we'll see how it works. My dad has made music videos before and uh, one of his friends edited it. So yeah, let me, <laughs> let me know if you guys are interested in that. I'm probably gonna do it anyways, but yes. Okay, question number three is, what would your new dream job be, assuming it is currently to be a full-time author? That's one aspect of the dream. So. Recently, I've gotten very interested in uh, psychology, so I think either I would try to be uh, a singer-songwriter, so just like a full-time musician, or I would try to do something with psychology, so either uh, maybe becoming like a profiler or a therapist. I am extremely interested in a lot of the mental disorders what trauma does to the brain and just how the brain works and personalities and how we become who we become and trying to understand other people, understand myself, why am I the way that I am, why do I think the way that I do. It's it's all, it's mind boggling, <laughs> but it's also extremely fascinating. So this has been a more recent thing that I've gotten into, but yeah, I think I would really like to do something with that right now. I'm just using psychology as something that I'm learning about and will probably use to put into my writing. Just use it as a writer to try to figure out the characters to make, sorry, my dog is in the blanket, to make more well-rounded and uh, develop characters. So, yeah. Question number four, would you still consume author content? Possibly, but maybe not. Yes, I don't know. <laughs> I, I think so, but probably not to the extreme that I do now. It'd probably be like some of my favorite authors just sending them letters and saying, hey, I loved your book or something along those lines. And so, sorry, that's not even consuming author content. I mean, well, and then maybe learning about some of my favorite authors. I like learning about people. So maybe not to the extreme that I do now. Question number five, how many friends would you have not made? Pretty much all the friends that I've made on Instagram before Instagram deleted and now I have like three main ones that have stayed with me So thank you to you guys who stayed with me shout out um, But yeah, and even before like the ones that I haven't really uh, Connected with afterwards 
there you still met so many people and connected with so many people and was able to help a lot of writers and just encourage them um, and uh yeah i met so many people and it has been a lot of fun question number six would you still read as much as you do now probably i was thinking that i might actually read more but i've been reading quite quite a bit this year so it'd probably be a similar amount just maybe different books it'd probably be more psychology and uh maybe even screenwriting or sorry not screenwriting bleh, songwriting and lyric stuff i don't know and probably more fantasy i don't know if i hadn't gotten so invested in learning about the, the different genres and the way that stories work, I would probably still love my fantasy as much as I used to because I wouldn't be like, oh yeah, this doesn't make any sense, but I don't know, maybe not. Uh, question number seven is which part about being an author would you miss the most? I think like Sarah Sutton said, just getting the ideas out having so many ideas and being able to do stuff with them. That is so much fun. I would, especially in the projects that I'm working right now, I love the characters and the mystery and the drama. Uh, I'm thinking of two different projects. So like the characters for one project, just getting to meet all of them, I guess, and kind of go into their world and getting to share them with new people or getting to share them with the world once I get to that point. I'm so sorry excited to share these characters with you guys and then kind of with the other with the fairy tale retellings and the fantasy and yeah i would miss the adventure the outlining the yeah i'd miss a lot of it question number eight how different would your life look in general i don't think it would look terribly different i might be doing excuse me I might be doing an online college and learning more about psychology that way and I might be like instead of having a desk for writing it probably have more instruments maybe some music stuff recording stuff in my room and focusing a little bit more on that instead of the writing uh yeah and then Ideally, I guess I'd be like doing gigs at places, mm, playing at coffee shops. I don't know. Some coffee shops will let you play there. Yeah, I don't know. So a little bit different, but also not extremely different. I don't know. I guess the going out and playing music for people, that would be quite a little bit different. But I've done it before, so I, I don't know. Yeah, so a little bit different, but it'd still probably be at home with my family just doing different stuff in my room instead of writing it would be like school or music <laughs> so yeah if you guys have not done this video consider yourself tagged uh please let me know if you do this video i'd love to see what you guys come up with and yeah um i had a lot of fun with this video i hope you guys enjoyed it and uh thank you for watching i will see you in the next one bye Thank you.